And right here, Take Tony, they made urethane wheels. Nice. Organic wheels. What? I don't understand what organic wheels. Org orga- what? They're the cheapest urethane fingerboard wheels. Yeah, I just made a video on the cheapest urethane wheels. Yeah, no. They're cheaper. What? That's insane. That's like literally too good to be true. I don't know, dude. Here, catch. What the heck? Okay. Do a review or something. Uh, thanks, I guess? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Some of you guys have brought into light organic fingerboards. At first I had zero idea what you guys meant, but then I did some googling and found out that there's a company called Organic Fingerboards and they make a bunch of fingerboard stuff, including urethane wheels, which I have right now with me. A lot of people seem to really like them, so I'm really excited about this package. Affordable and good fingerboard products are always of interest to me, so I had to cop some. I got two sets of wheels, different colors, one classic and one mini, because I wanted to see the variety of products they had. They also have a bowl wheel, but I didn't get it because I felt like it would be too big. It is actually cheaper than Teak Tuning's Apex wheels, but only by a few dollars, and honestly, they're about the same price to me since shipping was more expensive for organic fingerboards. And speaking of shipping, organic fingerboards hasn't made a very good impression for me because I have been waiting for this package for a month when I paid for two weeks of shipping. Let me just warn you guys, the customer service is not good. I had tracking on these wheels as well and they were just sitting there for three weeks until they finally mailed it and they only arrived in a few days. So if they hadn't mailed it right away, I could have gotten it way faster. But let's get into this package. I had actually realized after recording that I recorded this all in slow motion. And if you don't know, you can't record sound while in slow motion. So allow me to speed this up while I voice over everything that I talked about. As you can see, I went for the Porsche everything straight out of the bag method for this unboxing. Oh my god, this slow motion thing is really annoying because it made the video really blurry, really noisy, and focus wasn't working either. But I'm reading this little card. It talks about planting a tree every single purchase for organic fingerboards. Really cool. Love being eco-friendly. You can't even see the card because some slow motion settings and here are the two wheels. I talked about how neat they look. They looked very white and fresh. I was really excited to skate these. The colors on the mini core wheels were supposed to be green but if you look on the website um, it looks very mint green online but it's kind of more bluish. In real life, it looks very blue, like a baby blue. Here, I was talking about how the packaging was very cheap. Obviously, good packaging can be really expensive. It makes sense to not have fancy packaging for such a cheap product. Uh, save some money. Here are some close-ups on the wheels. When you're in slow motion, it doesn't fix the focus. But anyways, here I was saying I'm gonna try out these wheels, gonna try out the... Uh, classics first because I'm used to riding a classic shape. Here is when we take the wheels out of the bag for the first time. I get my first impression, first feeling of the wheel. It's super exciting. These wheels feel really nice. They have a really unique feeling to them. You can feel that these are 100% not plastic. They're definitely urethane. They have a really premium feel to them and the white is outstandingly clean. It just looks really, really nice. And we had a little squeak test. Obviously you can't hear, but it was pretty dull. It didn't sound like much at all. Which I found really interesting, but it might change later on when we set this thing up. We'll see. Also wanted to check the mini cores to see if they also sounded the same, felt the same, you know, all that sort of thing. As we can see, this wheel's like extremely tiny. I don't usually skate mini wheels, but I wanted to try, so really excited. I think this is the wheel that had a little bit of an issue. Part of the wheel is kind of sticking out, not flush to the wheel. We have a little bit of a blem wheel there. And then we do a little sound test with the minis as well. They sound pretty similar. Don't really have that much noise, which is really curious to me. The shape on organic fingerboard wheels are way more professional as well. Um, they've definitely got more definition to them. They look like they've been designed well and they have their own unique shapes. And the mini wheels uh, have a very much cruiser shape. Um, the classics, of course, have a more street shape. 
It's really interesting. I'm gonna try set one up with uh, main poly decks, which has the cartwheels on right now. Sorry, cartwheels, but we're gonna try these wheels, and we're gonna see how they roll, how they feel, you know, see if the squeak is any different. Here is the setup with the wheels. They look so clean. It's so nice to have fresh wheels. My cartwheels have been getting a little dirty, but that's not the point. That's not the point. And I haven't put the wheels on the table yet. I wanted you guys to see my first reaction. And we all know the rule, the first kick flip. I also noticed while setting this up that the classics are pretty big for classics, which is why I didn't get the bowl wheels because if these are the classics, then the bowl wheels must be humongous. Let's see how this rolls. Let's see how the bearings are. Let's go, okay. These feel so good out of the gate, wow. There is a random rattling noise though. Which wheel is that? You can feel uh, some of the wheels kind of having a little bit of a like sticking noise to them. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like the bearings are making like a little rattling noise. So that's not great, but I'm sure it'll be better once it breaks in. Let's do a squeak test. Oh. Not much squeak, but it is pretty noisy. Kickflip. Backside kickflip. All right, front side. side kick flips. I like this. This is nice. These are only my first day impressions, however. So I'm gonna skate these for a few days. Also swap in the minis, see how I feel about them. And then I'll get back to you guys once I have fully seshed these bad boys out. I'm really excited. Organic Fingboard says that these are 65 durometer urethane, so they're supposed to be pretty soft. I think everybody on Instagram complains about Organic Fingerboard's uh, shipping, which is absolutely insane, but these wheels are really good, so I'll see you in a few days. It's been a few days! I swapped the classic gray cars for the minty green mini cars and I found out that they work really well for this green poly decks, the little green on green, very subtle, nice colors. I have my old cartwheels in the bag over here because I'm gonna put my cartwheels back on these. Not because I don't like them, but I'm saving these wheels for some new setups. This is my first time skating um, a mini wheel. I usually ride classic or street shape wheels, so I'm more used to the bigger wheel and I think that these skate better for me, even though they're a little bit big. Both the minis and the classics are absolutely great. Let me share with you my impressions on this wheel. First of all, they skate really well. For only 19 bucks, this is an incredibly good deal. I will give the customer service a zero, but the product itself gets a pretty high score. These are real urethane, they don't feel like plastic at all, they have a really premium feel. They're not all perfect of course, one of these mini wheels have a tiny blemish. But I tested them on some other surfaces and they do actually squeak. After wearing down the wheels a little bit, they do squeak a little more now. The aesthetics of this wheel are also top notch. They match the pictures on its website. The white is so pure and so clean, I am in love with it. They even fit on tech deck trucks. If you know me, Apex wheels had an issue where it wouldn't fit on tech deck trucks that well, but these fit really nice. So here are some bad things I noticed about these wheels. They're only $19, so you can't really expect that much. If you spin some of these wheels, you can tell that the bearing is not centered in the wheel. Not sure if you can see that on camera, but if you look at it in person, you can tell that it's not really centered, which gives it a little bit of a bumpy feel. So a few of these wheels have 
that problem. But no worries, it's not that noticeable. What is noticeable, however, is that these bearings are not really the greatest. After a few days of riding them, they still have that bumpy feel and I'm not sure if you can hear this, but listen closely. That's the sound of a bearing not rolling right. I don't know exactly what it is, but I've had that issue before. So it doesn't make the most satisfying sound when rolling it. And you can feel it being a little bumpy too. So those are my only real concerns. The bearings aren't the best. Which for some of you may be a big concern because you're like, it's a wheel. That's the whole point of the wheel, to be able to roll well. But the urethane and overall feel of these wheels is still pretty A+. So would I recommend you getting these wheels? Definitely. If you guys have never tried urethane wheels before and you want to get some, definitely try these out. I've been wanting to get some oaks for a while, so maybe I'll make a video about that, but they're pretty expensive. And these are a really good cheap option if you're okay with waiting three times the amount that you paid for in order for it to ship here. But now you guys can stop bugging me about organic fingerboard wheels. I understand why you like them now. They're good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up because that tells me what you guys like and help support the channel so that more people can see it. And hey, subscribe for more content. There's gonna be a lot more skateboard vlogs coming out. I don't have any plans for fingerboard videos yet, but if you do like my fingerboard content, then subscribe so you don't miss out. And ring that bell, ding that bell, do not forget, so that you will never miss out on a new video. I'm trying to post weekly, get back into that grind. So peace out, guys. Stay safe, I'll see you next week. Woo!